Hello friends, I'm Abhishek from Keyframes Online. Uh, today we'll see uh, again particle tutorial, uh, but in very different way. Uh, something like uh, this uh, we will do in particle in 3D Max. Generally, in 3D Max is this kind of output. If we want, we generally go to different softwares for uh, uh, better results. But I think. Uh, if you want some kind of uh, uh, chocolate animation or water simulation if you want of course uh, we have very good softwares in different packages but uh, uh, we can do uh, better things in 3d max that's what uh, i have uh, made this tutorial uh, in this tutorial basically we'll see how how uh, we'll use particles and we will attach a blob mesh uh, into particles and we will uh, make some kind of uh, this type of simulation uh, same kind of simulation has been used in uh, many advertisements uh, I'll, I'll show you one thing this is what i came uh, forward with this ad it's a uh, cadbury's clear ad So this kind of simulation of course we can uh, do better in different softwares but of course we can do in 3d max this is my belief so i'll just have uh, one chance on 3d max like how to make this kind of uh, uh, what chocolates uh, fountains in 3d max i'll show you the how to make a start with the projects so let's get started uh, i'll take one particle system that is super spray is my favorite because it's very easy to handle slightly down and I'll see what kind of fine some kind of spread I can give like this see you can see on the top this is how we are spreading and this is what total spreadness we can see So let it be some around 20 and you can spread it total to 180 because we want total coverage of particles so 180 if you want half we can make it half like this so 180 is fine uh, uh, viewport is ticks is always better it's very easy to handle a viewport like I will increase the user rate that is the number of particle quantity that is some around 30 or 35 we can increase speed I want to decrease somewhat because I don't want such a speed uh, so I will be really, uh, really reducing down the speed in 100 maybe we'll increase timeline by 200 uh, say by 200 200 life will be 200 fine and I'll go to compound objects where I'll find a blob mesh just click on blob mesh go to modify blob objects pick or you can say add a particle close it like this we'll make size will 50 I'll go to modify particle type I'll say uh, I'll, I'll again I'll click on mesh because I can see in viewport how it's reacting because after all we will do the render and this is the blob we will increase uh, gradually I'll increase the size of the particle uh, 
now the blobs are visible Ten, fifteen, I'll decrease. Okay. Now this is what we are getting. And the same thing we want in less speed. We want suddenly a uh, layer. Uh, because we want slow but in after that we want some speed in that particle so I'll go to forces and I'll add a drag body for uh, space wrap so when it's happening like this I can say space wrap particles so I'll go to modify I'll say 0 0.05 0 0.05 little bit and say by 30 only you can hold my particles again this effect we want something like this sudden sudden splash of chocolate this is the what we get I've just paused uh, the tutorial because uh, uh, three four seconds is just going for rendering but still it's fine because only to see how it's rendering in wasting a time so I thought uh, to pause and you know we can see the the, the results uh, yes, of course, uh, we are seeing some particles, some particles are here, so we can hide that particles, uh, just go to particles, uh, super spray, right click, hide, it's okay, it's absolutely fine, now we can play this thing, like this, uh, adaptive degradation is there, so I can play like this, and you can make a render, uh, what kind of simulation we are getting uh, this is what uh, we are planning to do uh, in this simulation in very easy simple steps you can achieve this kind of blobby uh, blobby particles uh, effect in 3d max in very easy way uh, same kind of animation same kind of output if you want generally people go to uh, different packages uh, uh, different uh, softwares to do a small kind of thing if you want to convert into same kind of into water uh, uh, blobby water you can uh, add some ray trace texture into it this is what uh, we got from the enter now we'll start the lighting say something like this now I'll add camera into my scene control C so my camera is there I'll go to lights. I'll use stand lights because only if I require, if you go for uh, a very realistic effect, they can you go for uh, V ray. I'll add target light like this. I can go back a little bit. This is my key light. I'll say key, K E Y key not key, key light key light again see okay it's fine and then I'll just make a copy of it say so I can say fill go to modify I'll go to intensity I don't want such kind of intensity like 0.5 or 0.6 will be fine again a cut light we can say back go to left opposite to my camera this is how we do basically we want cut from outside where objects end 
and we will increase the intensity to 2, 3, something like this. I'll go to again my camera view. Now this is what I get. If you want to go and right click you can see something like this. What shading you want. So you can see the shading like this. Like this cut we get from backlit. This is what we get. Now I'll go to my, I'll just off it. Viewport shading I'll say off. I don't want. And of course I'll press F3 because whatever the RAM it is, we have to optimize uh, the scene whenever we work. I'll go to materials. I'll take uh, anastrophic. Go to chocolate color. Brown shade, I can say light. I can add some specular level. So my it will be some around shiny, uh, shiny thick shake you can say. And I'll assign click to it. I'll name it chocolate shake material and I'll go to render I'll just pause it first because only to seeing how it is render uh, this is what I got <clears throat> so guys if you enjoyed my tutorial do subscribe my channel uh, that is keyframes online to stay updates on my tutorial uh, if you have any doubts about any of my tutorials if you have any request of the tutorials uh, I really uh, um, uh, uh, keep uh, time aside for it and make uh, tutorials for you uh, this is was uh, one of my fans request how to make a thick uh, blobby uh, like uh, animation in particle effects when it when he saw my particle effect tutorial so like this if you want any of the tutorial please do let me know and if you if you have any you know queries and if you have any certain things you do let me know on my comment box of the tutorial i'll reply you and uh, stay updated on my tutorials uh, i'll see you again with the next tutorial and bye have a nice day